fish face, your girl got pores. Like this. Hello to all my beautiful people. Today, I thought it would be the perfect day to do my everyday makeup routine. I have a couple blemishes in my face because I just got done with that time of the month and I think it's perfect so you guys can see how I cover everything up and how I get that makeup, no makeup look every day. First thing is to moisturize your face. I use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This cream is very, um, the product is very efficient so you really don't need that much. Just with a little bit, you'll be able to get your whole face covered. It's very important for you to moisturize your whole face because if not, what happens is you put your makeup on and your skin absorbs all the makeup and that's when your makeup looks cakey. You wanna moisturize it so the makeup stays right on top of the surface. Next, I apply the Pore Professional Primer. I like to apply this because your girl got pores and we need to cover up those pores. You want to apply this everywhere that you see you have larger pores and I tend to have larger pores there. You also want to apply it here on the sides of your nose because that area tends to be a little pink and um, this helps. And I also apply a little bit of this on my forehead, just in the middle. To give myself that natural highlight, I use this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. You want to apply this in all the areas where you actually want the light bounces off of it. So on top of the cheekbones and in the T-zone. Hi! Look who came to say hi. Hi, are you gonna be in my makeup tutorial? No, you can't wear any makeup, you're too hairy. Bye. <laughs> Highlighter is done, we're gonna move in with the foundation. My foundation is the NARS Syracuse MD1. This product is very efficient. So all these products, just with a little bit of product, it get, you get a lot of results out of it. You want to go in and blend it in with the Beauty Blender. You want to make sure that the sponge is humid. If the sponge is dry, what's going to happen is that it's going to absorb all the product. You don't want that. You want the product to stay in your face and then you want to use the sponge to give it that natural pore skin look. Next, I like to do my eyebrows. I'm going to use this product. It's by Mua Makeup Academy Professional. It's the Pro Brow Ultimate Eyebrow Kit. I found this recently. I got this at Superdrug and it was literally like six pounds. This is amazing, I'm obsessed with it. This brown color here is just perfect for my eyebrows. I prefer to do my eyebrows with eyeshadow powder rather than pencil because I feel like it looks more natural. For the eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Too Faced palette and I'm going to use this color right here, Bellini. You want to apply this in the ball of your eye. You want to stay in. If you want, you can just put a little bit of a highlighter. I use Nectar inside the eyes so it looks like your eyes are wider, bigger. <laughs> I just got this from Charlotte Tilbury. It's an eye pencil and it's called, it's called Color Chameleon Amber Base. This is brown and I want to apply it on the bottom just because it's going to give my eye a little bit more definition, but it's going to still look very natural. For the cat eye eyeliner, I like to use a medium size tipped wet eyeliner.
For the mascara, I use Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. I love the brush in this mascara. It's very easy for me to fan out my eyelashes without leaving too much product on the eyelash. You can get this in the US, any Sephora, anywhere that sells Benefit. That's it for the eyes. Now we're going to contour and highlight. For contour, I use this Charlotte Tilbury palette. It's called Film Star Bronze and Glow, and this is the medium to dark. We're going to contour underneath the cheekbones, around the forehead, and underneath the chin and the nose. As a guide to know where you're gonna apply your bronzer, all you need to do is just make a fish face and follow along the line of your cheekbone. To contour my nose, I use the Anastasia palette. I've been using this palette so long that, yes, you can see it looks really beat up, but I really, really love it. I'm going to use this brown right here and I'm gonna mix it a little bit with this one. To contour the nose, you want to make sure that you stay the lines inside, not out here. If you, this is just gonna make your nose look wider and we are going for that very slimming effect. I like to apply just a tiny little bit of the concealer, the Bobbi Brown concealer, just in the middle, just to give it that extra highlight. For highlighter, I am using this new palette by MAC. It's called Hyper Real Glow. It comes with these three shades. I just use all of them like this and I Brush off the excess and you want to apply the highlighter just on top of your cheekbone. Look at how beautiful the light bounces off that highlighter. I also like to apply it right here in the forehead, just in the front, that's where the light bounces off. Then I apply just a little bit of the highlighter on the top part of the nose to really define and bring out more the highlight. For the blush, I use this one by MAC, Peachy Keen. I have been using this blush for as long as I can remember. It's really the perfect shade of pink and peach for my skin complexion. Anything lighter, anything darker just doesn't look as natural. What you wanna do is you wanna smile and you wanna apply this in the apples of your cheeks. On the apple of your cheeks. And what I do is I bring it into my nose just to blend it in and I take it out. Ooh. I'm going to do my lips. I use a lip liner and a lipstick. They're both by Charlotte Tilbury. The lip liner is called Iconic Nude. This is by Charlotte Tilbury and it's called Pillow Talk. I know that you guys have seen me before using the MAC Velvet Teddy, so I really just go between the Velvet Teddy and Pillow Talk. I really like the formula on this one. It's more moisturizing on my lips. The MAC dries out my lips. I still like the way the color looks, but I just got this new one, so we're back on track. To make my lips look a little bit more plump, I always take just a little bit of brown shadow. Any brown shadow, it could be the one that you use to do your eyebrows. Just dab it just a little bit and then you put it right here, right underneath. And just make sure that it's smeared. I take a tiny bit of highlighter and I apply it on my Cupid's bow. And this is my final look. 
This is the makeup look that I use in every single one of my YouTube videos. This is actually what I wear in my face every single day. It's just something really easy, really quick. It takes me about eight minutes to do my entire face of makeup. And it's just something that you're always going to look fresh. You're gonna look clean. You're gonna look just effortless. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video tutorial and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.